Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install MSI Afterburner, which allows you to use unique and popular features like on screen display. That means while you're gaming, you can have your core temperatures, FPS, GPU, or anything else that you like show up in the corner or place it anywhere that works for you. It's highly customizable. And if you're a miner, it allows you to overclock the GPU and automatically adjust the fan speed. Now that you know what it's about, let's get started. And here we are at the Windows 11 desktop. I'm just gonna open up my browser and I'm at the MSI download page for Afterburner. Now, this is the official URL that we have here. I'm gonna put this linked in the description below so you have quick and easy access to it. So I know that sometimes downloading from the website doesn't always work. The link fails and you can't get it. So what I'm gonna do like I did last time is I'm gonna put a backup copy on my blog. Uh, it's geekrar.com. So if you're having issues downloading it from the source, I'll also have a mirror copy of it. And I'll put a link for that in the description as well. So we're at the page and we're just going to click on download. Uh, it's about 50 megs in size. And this is going to go into my folder here, my downloads folder. And there it is. Minimize that. And we're going to right click on it and say extract all. And we'll extract it into the downloads folder. So this is the setup file for MSI Afterburner and the version that we're installing is version 4.6.4. .4. So we'll just right click on the setup file and say run as administrator because we wanna make sure that we have all the privileges of the computer to install it. When you get a prompt, just say yes to the prompt. And now we get to install and select the language. Now there's two components that it's gonna install. It's gonna install MSI Afterburner and Riva Tuner, and you'll see that as it comes up during the installation. So we'll click on okay. And we get the welcome screen, so we can just click on next. Now you need to accept the terms for the license agreement. If you don't, you won't be able to install it. So we'll select I accept and then click on next. And here is the option for Riva Tuner. So Riva Tuner is important if you want to get on-screen display when you're playing games and you get the stats pop up in the corner. That's the important part that most people want when they install MSI Afterburner. So you want to make sure that this option is selected and then click on next. And we're going to be using the default path. Now, if you have to change it, you just click on browse and you can change where you want it installed. Other than that, you can just click on next and we'll leave the name as is and then click on install. So now it's prompting us because it wants to install the Riva Tuner component that I had mentioned earlier. So that's part of the installation here. So we're going to click on OK and we'll get a new window here that we have to click on next and another license agreement. So we're going to accept that and then click on next and I'll be leaving the default location as is. So we'll click on next and we'll leave the name as is as well. Click on install and it'll extract all the files that are required. Okay, so the Riva Tuner portion is complete. We can click on finish. And we've also completed every, everything for MSI Afterburner. So we can click on finish as well. And it should pop up the tool. And there we go. So here is the home screen for MSI Afterburner. And in the corner over here, you can see that we have Riva Tuner running as well. So if you just click on that, you get Riva Tuner. And then you can go ahead and modify the on screen display settings. So I'll just minimize that for now. And we'll take a quick peek over here at the MSI Afterburner. And the first thing that you'll notice is that we have the GPU and it has a clock right over here live as well as memory, voltage and temperature. Then you also have the monitor for voltage and then you have the clock speeds over here for the core clock and memory clock which can be adjusted. And for the fan we have the power limit and temperature that also can be adjusted here as well as the fan percentage. Now if you modify any of these settings you just have to make sure that you save it and then you have this check mark here for apply which will apply the settings automatically. And if we go into the settings here, just so you have a quick peek of what's going on. Uh, under general, you have the options. To, if you have more than one GPU, you'd be able to select it. I just have one right now. Then you can specify the settings that you want for each GPU you have installed. Under the fan tab, you can enable user defined settings. So if you check this, you can automatically set the settings of what you'd like for the fan. I just leave mine on automatic. Uh, monitoring, this is for Riva Tuner. Anything in here that has a check mark means it's enabled. But if you want it in your on screen display, like memory usage, you just want to make sure that you check off this box right over here that says on screen display. And then whenever Riva Tuner is running while you're gaming, it'll automatically show up. Over here for the on screen display option, uh, you can toggle on and off options for on screen display. But if you click on the more button over here, you get the Riva Tuner that pops up and then you can get very specific on what you want to do. So I'll close out of that. And under benchmarking, uh, you can run your own benchmarking test for it to record. You can set hotkeys here to start and record benchmarking. Screen capture, uh, you also can set a hotkey for that as well. 
and then also the file type that you want to save it as and then you can set the quality and the folder here then you also have video capture profiles that you can save so you can hop in and out of different profiles and the user interface the user interface is just basically changing the way it looks and feels and they have a lot of preloaded skins here that you can select and you can change the way it looks if you don't like the default look you can select anything in here uh, that suits your style so once you've changed everything that you need you can just hit on apply and okay and then it automatically will save those settings for you. So that's a quick peek for installing MSI Afterburner on a Windows 11 PC. If you're looking for me to go more in depth in any specific feature, let me know in the description below and I can expand more on that. There's a lot that you can do with this tool. So I just wanted to do a short tutorial about just installing it and getting it up and running. So if you thought this video was useful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're looking for more tips and tutorials like this, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.